This is Bloodhound SSC, a car that when complete will reach a thousand miles per hour. It has a 5 litre 550 PS supercharged V8 Jaguar engine on board, but that just provides power for the hydraulics. The rest of the immense thrust will come from a rocket and one of the RAF's Eurojet EJ200 Typhoon engines. This week, that supersonic engine was finally mounted into its housing and lowered onto the chassis of the world's fastest car. The support for the Minister of Defence is fantastic. I mean, it really is, and we could not do it without your help. Uh, the support uh, goes through a number of levels, but basically, of course, uh, we've got uh, Andy Green's availability, because Andy's a serving officer. Um, we've got uh, the loan of the EJ200 engines. Um, we've got the help from uh, the, the, the Remy guys in terms of building the car and doing all the systems and the systems integration. And, of course, the help from 71 Squadron building that fin. The RAF team from 71 IR Squadron are working closely with Formula One engineers, rocket scientists and the Army's Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers to pull the car together in time for the first test run in just six months' time. It's just a great opportunity that we can, as a, as a whole, as 71 Squadron, as the Royal Air Force, we can showcase our skills and what we can do alongside these, these top-class engineers. Eurojet EJ200 engine is 4 metres long and produces over 20,000 pounds per foot of thrust with reheat engaged. This engine has a reputation for being very dependable, but it was never designed to propel a vehicle like Bloodhound SSC. It's an astonishing reputation, that engine. It's really good. But here, of course, we're putting it into a different scenario. We're putting this thing into a car, and we need a lot of engine experience just to help us um, sort it out and make sure it works all right. Once the car is complete, a flight controller will take charge of the speed trials. This is a job that carries a tremendous responsibility and requires a rare set of skills that once again will be provided by the Royal Air Force. The flight controller will be effectively in, uh, well, the nurse I think was, is in the control tower, effectively, controlling everything. That role of flight controller will be um, fulfilled by a Royal Air Force officer, and I'm really proud that that's going to happen. Bloodhound SSC is an incredibly British attempt at setting a land speed record that almost defies the laws of physics. The team building the car therefore feel that they are working for the nation's honour and hope to inspire generations of new engineers. The final world record attempt will be made in 2016. You can find out more about the Bloodhound project by visiting www.bloodhoundssc.com or discover the many engineering opportunities available with the Royal Air Force at rafcareers.com.